All right, guys, good boy 32 here. Check it out. Sitting here after work. Uh, it's about 4.30. We're looking at about a 12-hour day before it's all said and done. But in any case, uh, this morning I uh, had a bunch of people talk to me about the Rhode Island deal where David Cicilline, uh, a congressman, a uh, Democrat, entered a bill uh, called the uh, Assault Weapons Ban of 2018. I also saw a, a video this morning by Guns and Gadgets, a great guy, and uh, he's, he's one of the biggest dudes on there fighting for the rights in the Second Amendment. And kudos to you, sir. You're doing an awesome job, and I hope I can help you out. In any case, um, so David Cicilline uh, put forth and authored a bill. He actually had it authored back in 2015, so it wasn't hard for him to pull it out again and just change the name. So in any case, right now he's authored it, he's put it in there, and there's 162 co-sponsors on this bill in Congress. And what I did was I, I, I read it. I read the whole damn thing. And I pulled some excerpts out of it, and I want to go through those for you right now. And this is more of a high-level type deal. This is just hitting on the bullet points that really affect us as gun holders. Now, again, this is not to say that this thing's going to go through. I mean, you got to think about it. There's uh, 435 seats in Congress. And uh, there's a lot of Democrats who love their guns. And there's a lot of Democrats who are not um, going to fall for the... Oh, we got to do something now. It's got to happen. You know, we got to do something. Um, enough's enough. Well, I say enough's enough of the bullshit, and y'all need to cut it out. Quit messing with my rights. Not to mention that there's a bunch of major media people out there saying that we should just go ahead and get repeal the Second Amendment. And uh, we're going to do a video on that here coming here pretty soon. But in any case, let's talk about this. Um, David Cicilline uh, put together a, the Assault Weapons Ban of 2018. So what we're going to do is talk about a couple things. The first thing they do is they define what an assault weapon is. And basically they went through pistol, shotgun, and rifle. I'm going to read it. I just wrote it out here. I'm going to read it to you real quickly. Um, Semi-automatic pistol means any repeating pistol that utilizes the portion of the energy of a firing cartridge to extract the fired cartridge case in the chamber the next round requires a separate pull of the trigger to fire each round. So what they define, and basically it goes on to semi-automatic shotguns, basically the same exact thing, and then to the semi-automatic assault weapon or the rifle. So basically the term semi-automatic assault weapon means the following, regardless of country or manufacturer caliber of ammunition accepted, a semi-automatic rifle that has the capacity to accept a detachable magazine in any one of the following uh, descriptives, a pistol grip, a forward grip, a folding telescopic stock or detachable stock, a grenade launcher, because you know we all like grenade launchers, don't we, KS? Or rocket launcher, a barrel shroud, or a threaded barrel. Because, you know, barrel shrouds are real bad because they keep people's hands protected. A semi-automatic rifle that has a fixed magazine with a capacity to accept more than 10 rounds. So if you've got a semi-automatic rifle and it has a fixed magazine but accepts more than 10 rounds, then it's considered an assault weapon. Um, except for the attached tubular device designed to accept the capable of operating with only 22 caliber rimfire. All right, so they're not talking about the 1022s. Okay, so uh, another thing what they do is they cover, you might be thinking, um, what about my stuff that I, uh, I've added to it? Okay, so this is another portion that they added to the, the bill that covers the bump stock um, and rotating devices, things like that. Uh, any part, combination of parts, component, device attachment, or accessories that are designed or functions to accelerate the rate of fire of a semi-automatic rifle but not to convert the semi-automatic rifle into a machine gun. Now, I'm not, I don't think they're talking about triggers here, but you never know. I mean, a trigger does, like a, a Timmy trigger that I use in competition or a Geisley, you one, one, one. So, Without having to have further explanation of what they're talking about here, I'd have to assume that they're considering just the bump stocks or the rotation devices or something else like that. But the dumbasses don't understand you can bump fire off just about anything. But don't tell them that because they'll ban your finger or belt loop. A semi-automatic pistol that has the capacity to attach, except a detachable magazine and one of the any, a threaded barrel, a second pistol grip, a barrel shroud, the capacity to accept a detachable magazine at some location outside the pistol grip, a semi-automatic version of an automatic firearm. So basically, boom, they cover it. If it looks like anything out there in the military world that you have there, it's considered an assault weapon. A semi-automatic pistol with a fixed magazine that has capacity to accept more than 10 rounds. A semi-automatic shotgun that has any one of the following, a folding telescopic uh, detachable stock, a pistol grip, fixed magazine with capacity to accept no more than five rounds. 
which means my competition shotgun that I use in three gun would then be considered an assault weapon. Uh, the ability to accept detachable magazines, foregrip, grenade launcher, KS, any shotgun with a revolving cylinder. So in any case, again, like we're talking about, okay, you got a competition shotgun, mine will hold 13 in the tube and one in the chamber. So that's evidently an assault weapon now. That's great, according to them. But it hasn't passed yet. I don't think it will. Um, all of the following are rifles, copies, duplicates, variants, or altered facsimiles with the capability of any such weapon thereof. And they're talking about, believe it or not, they include the FNM249 that you can buy from the manufacturer, um, the TNW-M2HB, any combination of parts which a firearm describes, so paragraphs A through K can be assembled, frame and or receiver of a rifle or shotgun described in the subparagraph. So basically what that means is your AR-15 lower, that is an assault rifle. Uh, what they do also is they, they provide you with a full-blown list. Now, I'm going to put the link down below of the PDF that you can up, up, pull up and take a look at it. Uh, but they provide you with an incredible list. Even Jesse James is on there. I mean, God, man. So what they do now is they're, they're trying to, to eliminate what happened, I guess, with the original assault weapons ban by thumb holes, things like that in the stocks, and eliminate the, the shroud or anything if it resembles, yada, yada, yada. Okay, so here's the most important part. I'm going to read these in two sessions. One is talking about the rifle itself or weapon, and then we're going to talk about magazines because what they do is they address the uh, magazines in there. There's my Palmetto State Armory still. The pricing on the Freedom Kit went up 20 bucks. Here we go. It shall be unlawful for a person to import, sell, manufacture, transfer, or possess in or affecting interstate or foreign commerce a semi-automatic assault weapon. Okay. Here's another one. Shall not apply to the possession, sale, or transfer of any semi-automatic assault weapon otherwise lawfully possessed under federal law on the date of enactment of the assault weapons ban. So basically, if you own your stuff beforehand, uh, that's it. You're good. To, you're okay, I guess. I don't know. Um, shall not apply to any firearm that is manually operated by bolt, pump, lever, slide action, or has been rendered permanently inoperable, or as an antique firearm as defined in Section 921 of this title. Okay, so we're talking about magazines. The term large capacity ammunition feeding device means a magazine, belt, drum, fed strip, similar device, strip, feeder strips. Okay, the clips, uh, including any such device joined or coupled with another in any manner. Okay, so you remember the uh, the star magazines that these people, where they were at five, but they could just flip them around. They're including those now. It can be readily restored. Ten rounds of ammunition does not include an attached tubular device designed to accept 22 caliber rim fire. Yada, yada, yada. All right, so basically it's uh, it's after the date of the enactment of the 2018 assault weapons ban, it shall be unlawful for a person to import, sell, manufacture, transfer, possess, or in or affecting interstate or foreign commerce a large capacity magazine. Uh, this shall not apply to the possession of any large capacity magazine feeding device otherwise lawfully possessed on or before the date of the enactment of the assault weapons ban of 2018. Dream on. Oh, by the way, none of this applies to any government, police, contractor, or anybody, uh, law enforcement, campus law enforcement, or nuclear transportation or retired officers in the act, or contractors. Also, uh, there's a, a, a portion in here talking about the secure storage or safe, safety device required for grandfather semi-automatic weapons so that you can keep them out of hands of individuals who uh, cannot lawfully own them at that point. Or, Okay, identification of markets for semi-automatic assault weapons and or the large capacity magazines all have to have a date inscribed on them after the date of the 2018 assault weapons ban. Seizure and forfeiture of large capacity ammunition feeding devices is also covered in here, but uh, kind of unique. I really didn't understand what in the hell they were talking about, but uh, if you wanted to forfeit it to the authorities, they have to offer you compensation for it, and that's going to be paid for out of a 1968 Safe Arms Act, and there's an omnibus do dollar amount in there. Okay, um, and basically what this, another portion of it is, is that if they find any of the, a portion of this thing unconstitutional, the remainder of it stands. Okay, that's it in a nutshell. I have not have spent nine minutes and 36 seconds of your life explaining to you what's going on. You need to write your state individuals, tell them no, 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 no. It doesn't matter. Tell them no, okay? Also, the 1994 assault weapons ban that Bill Clinton put in there, it had no effect. It's proven. 
They did m many studies. So what they're trying to do here is they're trying to work on the heartfelt strings of all the individuals who can finally, these people, oh, we can get rid of these things off the street. No, you won't. The unlawful ownership will always be there. You're taking away the rights for people who can lawfully own a firearm. You're taking this away from them. And that's what you want to do. I don't personally see this going through. There's too many people, Democrats, countrywide, who live in the rural areas where people love their guns and in the great words of Obama, cling on to their guns and their Bibles. This is not going to go through. I feel pretty confident in that. But there are enough Republicans who are weaning out and not sticking to their guns. No pun intended. I don't believe Trump will sign this into law either. As many people hate him right now for the bump stock deal, I don't think this is going to be constitutional, and I don't believe he'll do it. In any case, that's my two cents. Leave your questions down below. If there's something else you want me to cover, please feel free to email me at codeaboy32 at gmail.com. There's a link down below with my email in it. That's basically it. The so-called assault weapons ban of 2018. Yeah, it's interesting. I never thought I would see this ever happen or even propose. But it's always been there. Not to mention the old state of, uh, or the Commonwealth of, of uh, Pennsylvania. We even had it happen in uh, North Carolina. There were four people to try to get together and push it up, and everybody laughed at them pretty much. So that's it. Guys. Leave your comments down below. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. We'll end it like this. Support the red, white, and blue. Support the boys in blue. God bless America. God bless his men, women, in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. This freedom is not free. Let's go to Boy 32. Out.